Hey everyone, and welcome to part 20 of Let's Clone a Pokemon Game. In this tutorial, I'm actually going to be covering a thing in the past that we had an issue with that we didn't really get fixed before, and I said I'd come back to. Um, for NPCs, before, we were able to talk to them, but they didn't have any collisions. So we can jump right in real quick, and I'll show you what that issue was if uh, you haven't been following the tutorials. Um, if you just walk around, we can go through our NPC, and we can actually use spacebar to talk to them if we're facing them north. Now the issue with this is that we don't want to just go straight through our NPC, we actually want to have collision with them. And the issue that we had before was um, that we couldn't use two triggers or two different trigger types to define if it was an NPC or not, because we have a global thing set up for actual collision. So each one of our collision objects is tagged with collision, and if you see here, NPCs are tagged with NPC. Now there's a very simple way to fix this that I didn't really know about before. Well, I kind of did, but I didn't think about the exact issue before. But what we can actually do is just reference the actual name of the object instead of the tag. And so this will work for the short run um, once we get into more advanced with a lot of NPCs, because the thing that I wanted to do was actually organize them. We could actually give them each a name, like their own specific name and reference off that if we want. But for now, we're just going to set up a simple way that we can have collision and we can talk to our NPC. So the first thing we're going to want to do is find our two NPCs that we currently have. And it's a very simple fix. We're just going to name all our NPCs just NPC. And from here, what we want to do is actually go and we're going to change these to collision. Because we want these to have collision, just like all our other walls and whatnot because we don't want to be walking through um, NPCs and whatnot. So we'll jump into our code, and it's very simple. It's very basic on how to fix this. All we have to do is go down to our talk NPC function, and we can go down to where we actually reference what our Raycast hit. So once we call our Raycast, and we actually want to check if it hit an NPC or not, um, so when we press spacebar, it'll activate this. And instead of referencing tag, we could actually simply just change this to name and save that. And so this name is referencing the name that you actually gave the NPCs themselves. So if each one is named NPC, um, once we hit spacebar, it'll, instead of grabbing the tag, it'll grab the actual name, and it'll recognize that it is an NPC, and it'll call that code. Now the cool thing with this is it'll still keep everything the same, so our dialogue will stay with our actual, you know, player itself. So if you had a variety of different NPCs and you want to customize them, this is a perfect way to do that. So that's the very basic way of fixing this. We can jump back in here and we can actually see if it worked now. And if you see now, it behaves exactly like if we, you know, had a wall. So we can't walk through them. If we turn, we'll face them just with how it works with our walls that we don't go through. And I haven't really tested this with actually making them walk around in different patterns and seeing if we still collide through them or not. Um, we can check that in the future since we do have this whole system set up. So I'll do a little bit of testing with that. Maybe that'll be the next tutorial on actually um, giving them pathing to different places or different nodes. And so if we go and we can, if you see here, we can actually talk to them and they have collision. So yeah, I just wanted to do a very quick tutorial covering that. Um, I still want to get into some more advanced tutorials in the future, but I figured I should go back and just create some basic tutorials on how to problem solve on some things. So yeah, stuff that I talked about before, like a inventory system, shop system, all that stuff will be covered in the future. So yeah, stay tuned guys, and hope you enjoy the tutorials.